Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back today. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create custom block models for Minecraft. So there has been a feature inside of Minecraft since 1.8 which has allowed you to actually create custom block models and also override them using resource packs. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your first custom block model um, for Minecraft. So this tutorial today is designed for beginners so if you've never touched resource packs or block models I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all this today and uh, hopefully by the end you will have your own custom model inside of the game. So you can create things like furniture and add it into your world without even having a mod. How cool does that sound? But let's go ahead, let's get into this right now. Alrighty, so the first step to creating a custom block model is to come up with an idea. So for this tutorial today, I'm actually going to be creating a single seated sofa. You can copy the same idea or you can actually do your completely own one if you really want to. Now before we even start creating the model, we want to decide on a block we want to override. Now I out. Now before we even start creating the block model, we want to decide on a block we want to override. Now. Depending on the block you override, it can have some weird properties. So basically for a chair, we want to be able to place it in any direction. So we want to find a kind of a block with a rotation property. And what I mean by rotation property is, for instance, let's go ahead, let's grab out some stairs here. And you'll notice when I actually place it down, um, these four blocks here all have a kind of unique direction. So this one here. Uh, I think this one here is facing north, this one here is facing east, this one here is facing south, and then this one here is facing to the west. So you can imagine if we actually had a sofa here and we over overrid um, these uh, purple stairs here, they, it will actually be you know rotated correctly when we place it down. However, if we were to override a block such as a slab here, our chair would only be placed in one direction and we couldn't rotate it at all. So that's the important thing about choosing a block we want to override before we even start creating the model. Now if you're not if your model does not require rotations, a block I highly suggest you override is actually carpets because um, an issue that you have if you override full blocks is that um, if your model is smaller than this kind of one by one by one cube, uh, you will actually start to see x-ray um, textures underneath. And that's just kind of a thing with uh, Minecraft's rendering system. It's not a bug. Um, it's actually just how Minecraft handles all its rendering. And the technical term is called cull facing. You can search it up. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. Just don't use a full block if you're wanting to create, you know, a proper custom model. I highly suggest you use carpets instead. And, um, you know, you can create a ton of models because you've got 16 different types of carpets here. You could create 16 types um, of models, uh, obviously, if they don't have rotations. So we've decided on our block, what we're going to do now is hop into our model creation software. So to create the block model, I'm actually going to be using my own model creator. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find the download for this. So this is the page right here. If you scroll down uh, to the bottom here, you'll find the download section. So there is a Windows version. However, I just kind of suggest you just download the universal one here because it will work on Windows, Mac and Linux, hopefully all of them, it should do. Uh, but I will put some alternatives to different programs out there such as Blockbench and Cubic Studio if you guys are looking into using something else. Um, I just like to use my model creator because it gets the job done, I'm used to the workflow with it. But really, it's up to personal preference, use whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, do note that you know my program is free, there are kind of paid programs out there so maybe you won't get them because you don't have money or something like that. So let's go ahead and start creating our model. So you'll see right in front of us this kind of grid here. This grid here is actually the size of a regular block inside of Minecraft. So it's good to keep that in mind when you're actually designing your model. So you kind of, um, you know, you, you kind of know what the scale of the model is going to be. If you decide to create a really teeny small model in the middle here, uh, you're going to have a really teeny model inside of the game. So keep that in mind. Uh, what we can do here is uh, we'll create a new element by pressing this um, cube here, this, bu this button with the cube on it. 
and then what we're going to do is increase the width of it so the first one here is the width and um, the second one here is the height so we need a 16 uh, by 16 and then the depth is going to be 16 as well so this here would be the size of a minecraft block so keep that in mind when you are designing your model we're going to go ahead and delete that so we're going to select that there press the trash button and uh, it is now deleted so our idea was to create a single seated sofa so um, i'm going to go through the process here i'm not going to talk about everything um, I might even skip some sections here because once I feel like, you know, I've explained some things, there's no point showing it again and again. So I'll probably do some bit of cuts here while I'm designing this model. So the first thing that I want to do is add some legs because I actually want to raise this uh, off the ground. So I want to create a new, um, new element here. I like to call these elements instead of cubes. Um, that's what they're kind of technically called inside of the JSON files, uh, which I'll get into later in this tutorial. What we're going to do is rename that, and we're just going to call this leg underscore one. Uh, we're going to make it a two wide by two deep, and then maybe two high as well. What we want to do is kind of move the position of this. So you can either change the position through here so we'll change the x position we can change the z position and then we can also change the uh, y position so change this to wherever you like just play around with it so i'm actually going to have mine uh, coming in two like that so it's coming two pixels on the x and the z axis we're going to go ahead and duplicate it so we're going to select that click this duplicate button and then we're going to rename this new one to leg underscore two we're going to move it over to the right, so increase the x-axis here. Now, if you want to, you can actually um, use kind of a hidden feature inside of my program here to uh, drag it with the mouse. So we'll go ahead and we'll duplicate this, and I'll show you guys real quickly here. So if we do this one as leg 3, we're going to move this along the z-axis here. But what I want to do is use the mouse. What we can do, I'm pretty sure, is shift and, or not shift, uh, I think it's control and drag. So if you actually press press control, click on the object here and drag it along, you can see that we can actually move this with the mouse and it does make positioning and uh, resizing objects easy. You can resize that I'm pretty sure by, it's one of these, oh no sorry, you hold control and you use right click, yep that's correct. Alright there we go, uh, we'll duplicate this last one, so we'll go leg 4. And let's move that back to the start by reducing the X position. So we've got our legs for our single seated sofa. What we want to do is start creating the actual kind of seat bit. We want a backrest and we also want some arm rests as well. So let's create a new element here. We'll call this base because this is where the player would sit on. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to be have not going to be able to have the properties of being able to sit on it. Unfortunately. Um, but it's just going to be able to a cool kind of decorative piece you'd be able to have inside of your house. So that's kind of the base. Let's raise it up a little bit here. I mean, that's looking pretty good so far. Uh, so technically this would be like six blocks off the ground so far. Uh, I think that's going to look pretty good. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So that's going to be the base. Maybe one higher. Maybe one higher. All right. So there's kind of our, you know, our legs, our base of a chair. Now, before we continue on here, what if we want to start texturing this just so we can get an idea of what it's going to look like? Well, the first thing that we need to do is actually download the assets um, of Minecraft. Now, there is a difficult way to do it and there's an easy way. I'm going to link you guys to the easy way, of course. So if you actually guys go, if you guys go into the description below, uh, it will actually bring up this website here. So it's called mcasset.cloud and uh, it, it will allow you to download um, Minecraft's assets. So if you actually refresh the website here, um, close this window off, this is what it will look like when you guys first join it. Um, I just press got it here. Uh, you'll need to select a Minecraft version. Let's go ahead and select the latest one, so 1.12.2. And then we'll go down here and click on this download and zip file, because we want to be able to download all these textures and um, you know, be able to, uh, you, or, I mean, we want, we want to be able to use any texture we want. So we're going to download every single thing, um, every single asset. Now it might be a big download, uh, because I'm pretty sure it includes these sounds as well. 
it does in fact include the sound, so that's going to be a little bit of a download, but do not worry too much. We're going to go ahead, open up that zip file, and then simply drag the folder from inside of it, um, you know, maybe onto your desktop or something like that. Might take a little bit of time to extract, but once that's done, we can actually start using Minecraft's textures. And as well, a good thing about using the textures from Minecraft is that when somebody actually does apply a resource pack which changes around those textures, um, those textures will actually be used on your model as well. So that's a really cool thing um, about that. Alrighty, our assets are now on the desktop here. And if we actually open up this folder, uh, we'll see a folder here called Assets, go to Minecraft, Textures, Blocks, and then here you have um, all the you know textures inside of Minecraft here, and we're free to use these uh, with our models. So what I want to do is actually texture our legs here. So what we're going to do is select the leg um, in the list at the top here. We're going to go to Faces tab, we're going to click on Image, import and then you want to find that folder on the desktop or wherever you decided to put it mine is here so let's go there assets minecraft textures blocks and then what i'm going to do for this is i think is it concrete and i think maybe it's like uh i think it's like concrete i oh, know here we go concrete um let's have a look here concrete gray where's concrete gray there it is I'm going to use this for my legs, so let's copy that, and then it should apply it to the face we've selected here, so this is the north side, however you can apply it to all faces very very easily, all you have to do is go ahead, click on this copy button here, and then hold shift and click paste, and that will place it, uh, apply it to every face um, on that element, let's go ahead and do that to leg 2 as well, so shift paste, um, and let's do it for the remaining ones as well. So there we go, we've got our uh, leg textures going. Uh, for the base of the chair here, what I might want to do is, or what texture I want to select here, is I want to go for a wool colored, um, let's find colored red here. So there's wool colored red. Let's select that, click apply, let's copy it, and then shift paste. Shift paste it so it applies to every face, and as you can see, this is looking pretty good so far if you ask me. The next thing that we're going to do is add in the arm rests and also the back rests. And uh, there, we're ready to go ahead and export this now. So the first thing that I suggest you do is just save this as a project. So we'll go file, save project, and then go ahead and save this. So we'll just name this tutorial sofa. Let's click save. Then after we've done that, we go ahead and export it. So the JSON file is kind of the definition for the Minecraft model. So it uses that JSON file um, in code in then in order to construct the actual model in memory. So let's click export. And then we're going to actually export this to our desk desktop here. So we actually need to name this to a particular name. Now, if we actually go back into our assets here that we downloaded, Go to Assets, Minecraft, and then instead of going to Textures, we're going to go to Models here. Um, the block we've chosen is a per per block, so obviously it is a block, not an item. So go into the block here, and then we need to search for it. So if we actually type in here, per per, or let's just search for it, per per, uh, you'll see in this list here we have Upper Slab Per Per, Per Per Stairs, uh, Per Per Pillar Top, and so on. The one we're most interested in is the Purple Stairs model. Um, so we're actually going to export our uh, model as the same name as this. So we're actually going to rename this and I'm going to copy that. And let's go back to our program here, paste that into the file name there, save. And then you'll see on the desktop here, we now have this JSON file. And if we open this up, you'll see we have our model definition. So, um, we scroll down here you'll see all of our elements and the definitions for all of these it will have the texture that's applied to it so we've got the blocks concrete gray and then we also have the uh, the wool colored red 
So you've created your final model and you finally want to add it into the game. Now, how do you actually do that? Well, we're going to be creating a custom resource pack. Now, I've actually made it super duper easy for you guys because I've prepared a template resource pack. So all you have to do is actually pop one file into it and you're going to be able to add it to the game and uh, load it up very easily. So in the description below, you'll find a link to this. So it is called custommodels.zip. All you have to do is, let's go ahead and let's just close this down. Open this up and it will come up with this. And you'll see something before similar where we have the assets. We go into Minecraft here, we're going to models and then go into block. And all you have to do is download, oh sorry, um, drag that exported file from the model creator into here. And uh, we're good to go. I shouldn't say we're good to go, we still haven't actually applied it. So go ahead, start up Minecraft right now. So let's go ahead and let's see if it's actually overridden the per per stairs. So let's go into our building blocks, let's scroll down. And uh, oh, there it is, have a look at it. So the per per stairs now have our custom model applied to it. How cool is that? Now the real test is when we actually place it down here now. I think there's going to be a little bit of an error and this is kind of a mistake on my on my but oh, it's kind of a mistake on my on my side here i said that stairs you could actually use like a full like a kind of a custom model on this and it won't cause any x-ray textures however i was wrong and that is something that happens when you you know start doing custom models like this uh, you do have to kind of be careful with what you override but not to worry what we can actually do is find another block uh which supports rotation and one that i kind of noted here is um, is actually a very damaged anvil because this will actually rotate in any direction um, and these are actually all kind of unique states right here so I know this one and this one look the same but they are in fact actually different models so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our desk desktop here let's go into the original assets we downloaded and let's see what the actual um, anvil damaged is called so let's go to models block and let's go to Anvil here. It should just be right at the top here. Um, as you can see, it is Anvil Very Damaged. So let's go ahead, let's rename that and let's copy that. Let's close that off. Let's rename our purple stairs here to Very Damaged Anvil instead. Let's open up our custom models.zip and uh, let's replace the file. So we actually need to delete the old one. So delete that right now. Let's copy in Anvil Very Damaged. Then we need to um, reapply the resource pack. So we need to go resource pack, open resource pack folder, delete the one in here because that is the old one. Whoops, don't bring up Cortana. Uh, you will need to remove it from the game before we can actually delete it, uh, unfortunately. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and delete it now. We should be able to. <laughs> uh, maybe we have to restart the game. Okay. Looks like we have to restart the game real quickly, so let's just close the game off here. Let's delete it now. Let's copy in our uh, new custom model resource pack. And let's start up the game again. So the pack is applied, let's load up our world here and let's see if it has fixed the issue. So uh, our new block here is the, the very damaged anvil. As you can see, it's already actually already applied it, but if we take a look in the uh, inventory here, you can see that the very damaged anvil is uh, this uh, custom chair here. And uh, if we place it down, we kind of need to place it in the kind of correct direction here. Um, it is slightly glitched um, in terms of the direction, but it's not too much of a problem here. But as you can tell, uh, we now have these custom chairs in our world and all we did was actually override um, one of the models inside of Minecraft. Now, um, just in shaders here, there was a little bit of a slight glitch, but if we actually do um, turn those off real quickly. You'll see that the shading issue is now gone inside of you know normal Minecraft um, Shading and uh, yeah, this looks really cool Let's see if we can actually apply this inside of our mansion here because you know Maybe we want to add, add some seats somewhere. Uh, let's go around maybe to the back here Maybe we could have a seat here. So let's go ahead. Let's place that down right there Oh, that looks absolutely amazing right here. You can just sit down decide what clothes you want to put on in the morning Let's go ahead. Let's put a chair up at the top here uh, maybe we'll put one in our book club over here. Maybe we'll put one in the book club here. Have a look at that. 
That looks so good right there. That looks so cool. But that, my dudes, is going to end off this tutorial today. Hopefully, you guys learned how to create custom models for Minecraft. Um, if you actually created one, send me a picture on Twitter. I would love to see what you created and add it into your world. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead, snap that like button, and I will see you guys later for some more epic videos. Bye.